What's going on guys? Welcome back to Growing with Nick, where we grow all kinds of shit. Um, today we're looking at figs, kind of our main thing we grow here on this channel. We got figs from Spain, Italy, Greece, France, even some North African um, figs in Portugal as well. So kind of growing a lot of different figs from a lot of different places. Today we're looking at our Socorro black fig tree. This is right here. This is its second year and it is really doing well. There are figs up and down its branches as well as two Breba figs. Um, this fig was found in Socorro, New Mexico um, and it was an older tree. So my theories of where this originated prior to New Mexico was that it actually does come from Spain. When the missionaries came over and brought the Black Mission fig tree to California, they would have likely traveled through New Mexico and um, I believe they would have planted this and this is one of their um, figs that was brought over. Just my theory, but it does originate in New Mexico after that fact. So today we're looking at two brevas on this tree. Um, there was about 12 to 15 brevas. Um, however, unfortunately I was down the shore and forgot to water this tree. So it dropped a couple of the other remaining brevas, but we still had two that did hold on and we're gonna be trying them now. And they're pretty ripe, they're pretty squishy up to the top. They're actually starting to fall off the tree. You can see how they're drooping. So we're gonna give you guys a close up and then um, we're gonna eat them. Um, they could use maybe another day um, but I am going to be leaving again, so I uh, have my 21st birthday coming up, so I have to get down the shore for that. So um, we're going to take these off, we're going to try these, and I'm going to show you guys how it is and bring you along for the ride. Let's get into it. Alright, so giving it up close here before we do take these off and eat it, you can see how much these figs are really drooping. Um, we got about 90 degree heat today, so they're probably loving this. But they are drooping, and if you can see, they are actually starting to fall off the tree or come off by themselves, which is usually a great sign that they are ready to go. Um, Socorro Black, even its main crop, kind of looks like this. It has a purplish hint or a brownish hint, but it has this kind of greenish yellow hue to it. Um, I think that's just due to the amount of sunlight, direct sunlight, the uh, figs are getting, because you can see the back sides um, over here are more greenish. So I think the side that do that does receive UV light will get um, darker. And I kind of moved these into the sun to get them some darker. And since I did that yesterday, they have put on more of a purple hue. Um, but this is a good sign that they're ripe because this feels like a bag of jelly. And you can see if I push, I can leave a big indent into this fig. So it's probably ready to go. So I'm gonna pick these for you guys. And we're going to pick this top one first because this one is really just Actually, this bottom one feels even more squishy. So maybe we'll pick this bottom one. It's squishy up to the neck, which is what you want to see. So let's pick this bottom one first. Just fell right off. There's no sap, which is always a good sign. If there's no sap coming out of where the fig was or the tip of the fig, that's always a good sign. It was dry. Let's plate this up and try it. All right, so here is our Breba. I put the leaf on the plate. A lot of other figsters do that. It kind of looks cool. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, here is our fig. We're gonna cut it, we have a nice sharp knife here, and we're gonna cut this right down the middle and see how this fig looks. Um, so let's give this a nice cut here. Wow, that just goes right through it. And look at that. Look at that. That is, that is beautiful. That is a beautifully ripened Breba. Wow, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that look how squishy this is and look at all the pulp inside that is that's wonderful but well, we're gonna eat it now so let's get into it all right so we're gonna try this now um yeah i'm excited um, I think this is really going to be a winner here. I might even put this in ground. This is becoming one of my most productive and um, just overall great figs that I have here. So let's give this Breba a try. Tell you what, that's really good. And to be honest with you, kind of rivals the main crop. I think I gave the main crop a 4.5 out of 5 or 9 out of 10. Um, 
So if I gave the main crop a 9 out of 10, this is maybe an 8.5 out of 10. I mean, it is very good. Um, sugar content wise, um, it isn't as sweet as the main crop, but it is less chewy of a skin and more jammy. So it's kind of, uh, you pick and choose. I like the more sweeter berry burst that I get from the main crop, but this is really good. I give this an 8.5 out of 10 all day long for Brave of Fig, as, as if I was rating this as a main crop. Maybe an eight, but it is very good. And this is, this might be put in ground soon, guys. So I'm gonna enjoy the other one later. Hmm. All right, guys, again, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to be enjoying this one right after this video. Again, guys, this is a nice berry fig. Um, the Brabo is about an 8 to 8.5 out of 10. Super good. Highly recommend the Sakura Black. It is in my top five figs for overall um, rankings. And this is great. It's very productive. It's, it's mid-season, the main crop. The Brabo is ripening around now, um, which is like July 10th. So this is awesome. This is a great fig. And I'm looking forward to more figs. A light berry with some kind of pie, like, like the, you know how you get that tangy from pineapple? I kind of get this from that, um, but not really pineapple-y taste, but great fig, highly recommend. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna be having a ton more figs to try this year. Um, excited to share that with you guys. Excited to bring you along for the journey. Um, and yeah, enjoy the summer, enjoy the sun, get some vitamin D because when those winter months come, you know, but thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my Sakura Black taste test. See you guys in the next episode. We have an air layering um, tutorial coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. And any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down in the comments box below. Um, Growing with Nick out. Take care, y'all.